My name is Cassie. I work in blood sciences. Oh, and I'm a postgraduate student at Medway Maritime Hospital, working as a trainee environmental scientist in biochemistry. Hello, my name is Alexander, and I'm a newly qualified biomedical scientist working here in biochemistry at Medway Maritime Hospital. Hi, my name is Antonio Deli, I'm a biomedical scientist. My name is Ibu Efresin DBC. I'm a biomedical scientist from Nigeria and I work in the chemistry department at Direct Valley Hospital. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm a biomedical scientist in hematology and blood transfusion. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a biomedical scientist at Medway Hospital. It's hematology and blood transfusion. Um, in hem hematology is where we do mainly the assist in the diagnosis of patients. We measure the uh, blood components such as hemoglobin, a platelet count and white blood cell count. Certain abnormal results, we make a blood film so that we can have a visual representation of the full blood count. To help with the diagnosis of these patients. We also do glandular fever, malaria and the sickle cell screening. But in the coagulation department, this is where we study the clotting and the coagulation factors. The doctor decides the patient requires blood or any blood products, we will then issue them in blood transfusion. The three main things that we do blood grouping for patients to determine their blood group, um, cross-matching with blood units to make sure that they are compatible and we also do antibody investigation. Once we've determined this, we can then issue the correct blood group that the patient requires. I need to ensure that it's um, a blood that is suitable or compatible to that patient. Ensuring that blood products that we give out do not give a transfusion reaction. In biochemistry, we do analysis on blood, urine, and cerebral spinal fluid. Primarily, we test the liquid part of the blood, which is known as plasma or serum, which we obtain from patient samples after spinning them down. Most other investigations, which are not immunoassays, like your electrolytes, your liver function test, your renal function test. We can test for a range of conditions and diseases, such as cancer, kidney disease, liver disease and heart disease. Hey, welcome to the microbiology department at Durant Valley. The department comprises of bacteriology, serology, molecular parasitology, mycology and andrology. Um, we will usually receive a wide range of samples including stool samples, blood cultures, swabs, urines, tissues and fluids and CSFs as well. So usually um, the BMS is here, the whole team come together to make sure that the samples are processed in a timely manner so that we can ensure that the results are of a high quality to help the patient care. This is our sensitivity area where we set up um, manual sends and uh, our Vitex sends, which is an automated system for doing sensitivities to the bacteria. Hold it off. It's uh, basically identifying bacteria. It's completely revolutionised the way that we ID our bacteria. Before, things that took days now can take literally seconds. As a biomedical scientist, there's a lot we normally do that nobody actually sees apart from those that work in the laboratory investigation. So in conclusion, laboratory investigations and laboratory tests actually have a direct impact on the patient's care. So basically, laboratory investigations are the life savers of patient diagnosis. The biomedical scientists over five years ago and since then I have come into work every single day and I help a pay, every single moment I work life I help patients. Basically that's what I do and I love my job. Which has been the best thing that I think I've ever done. It was the greatest career I could have chosen and I love being a biomedical scientist. I think you should too. <laughs>